is the Siberian hitch. It's a very, very simple knot. Once you get it, it's just you well around the hand like that. Pull this through, get your slip knot going there, and then pull it against the tree. And I mean, it really, like when you get it tied, it looks like it's just going to pop out every time, and it doesn't. And if you needed extra security, stick you a stick through there, pull it down tight, you're secure. Which I'm a little high on this, we like to keep it around waist high when you're setting up your emergency. Your emergency shelter on that one. I like that pretty well. About there. I didn't gauge these trees before I started, so hopefully they're where they need to be. After that, a little helper here. This is the basic truck this hitch. Which I may be. I used too much on my other side. <laughs> Should have gauged the trees better. As far as that goes. Huh? Yeah, right. You uh, always make a I appreciate y'all being patient with me on this one. It usually looks a lot cooler than this when I do it, but not today. doesn't have grommets on it, but this one just popped off. <laughs> just stuff something in there. Just to kind of time yourself. You put like a bottle of leaves, cotton ball, or just bunch up the end of it and just tie it down with a lark's head. And now you have grommets. The grabbers work fine. I've used grabbers before. I just prefer this because the pack's down a little bit smaller in my stock. do with this. This is a Prusik knot. I'd be more than happy to demonstrate that for anybody. Please do. Yeah, yeah. After this. Episode. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, I'll, it's, on knots, I mean, you really, that's, cool. that's really something you need to, uh, you know, prefer to work one-on-one -on -one with. They can be a little bit difficult to get at times. People have a lot of fun with the severe and hit the class. A lot of times, and I always mess with them. I'll be like, why well, use the same hand you did? What's wrong with your hand, man? Like, <laughs> we get a kick out of that. A little bit further. Sorry about the tree thing though. Most of the ones are that are appropriate distances apart are used up by hammocks, which I totally understand. I sleep in a hammock myself. Those are just basic toggles. If you got four tent stakes, feel free to use your tent stakes. I just kind of like using scrap pieces of wood that are laying around. And I don't know. I, the first time I ever did this class, I didn't bring tent stakes with me because they weren't on the gear list. So I had to craft my own. Carry tent stakes. They weigh virtually nothing, and it's a lot easier than, than carving them out. I had issues with mine being inferior wood and they were mushrooming out when I was trying to beat them in the ground and all that fun stuff, so. Now what this is doing is making you a microclimate. Because we're going to build our fire out in front of it. Which will bring heat into here and it makes it a, a nice little warm space if you're dealing with, you know, 
know, sub-zero temperatures or, you know, anything under freezing temperatures under 32 degrees and that, you could always throw you a uh, painter's tarp drop cloth or something in there and make you a little secret shelter type deal. Which we like to call it super, super shelter. We've actually had people come to class that have trained at Caramat and they're like, well, that's not the way that they do it. That's not a real super shelter. So, you know, it's the same concept. You know, God bless Morris Kahinski. He is a genius and has done a lot for this, this whole thing. That is your basic wing.